Hey, once again we are in Volkswagen with uh, MIP2 generation infotainment system. This is Discovery Media MIP2. And I'm going to show you how some uh, hidden features uh, in, in this head unit. Uh, first of all, you need to enable the developer mode. You can use OBD11 to do it. There's a link in the description um, if you want to know how to do it. I've already done a, a short tutorial explaining it. After you do it, it's best to reboot the system, so press and hold the volume knob on the left side for about 10 seconds, and after 10 seconds you will see that the display is off, backlight is off for a split second, and then everything reboots. And once you have uh, the system rebooted, you can make sure that you have SD card in the SD1 port and it's uh, make sure that it's not the navigation uh, database but your music or some empty empty card and right now with the device in developer mode we can access some additional um, debugging features those are interesting for those uh, who want to um, uh, hack the unit or learn more about how it works. So the first thing that you will notice is when you press and hold the menu button uh, for a couple of seconds, you will see that the FETs and swap codes are uh, available over here. You can check which are supported by the, by the head unit and which are installed in the head unit. Maybe let's change the language to English so we have a better understanding of what's going on on the display, okay? Okay, um, another cool thing that you can uh, do is press and hold the menu button again, but this time don't release it after a few seconds. Hold it for about 10 seconds and after 10 seconds you will go to the test menu. And over here you have, you have additional things. You can change the skin. I have only two available over here. You can go to green menu and there's a lot of features over here. This is Discover Media, so this is the um, lower version of the infotainment unit, but in the um, Discover uh, Pro, the higher version, you will have, uh, I believe, you will have much more things over here. Okay, another thing, when you press and hold the media button, you will hear a small ding after two or three seconds. And that means that the, that the screenshot was made to the SD card. You can also take screenshots uh, using the using the right knob if you press and hold it. There's a screenshot stored to the SD card as well. And right now we can, for example, press and hold traffic. And after about 10 seconds you will see that on the display um, a lot of purple lines will, will appear. Those lines are here to uh, show you uh, where exactly things are placed. So this is a text label, this is an image, this is some notification uh, number over here, and this will uh, uh, this will create a mess on the display, as you can see. Um, as I said, those functions are strictly for developers for debugging features, and this should help the developer to know exactly what's going on on the display. If something is not displayed the correct way, those lines should help um, whoever is developing the software, uh, should help debug it. Okay, so let's press and hold traffic again for 10 seconds and those lines should disappear. And next I will press and hold car button for about 10 seconds to show you, um, to show you another uh, overlay on the display. And that's uh, helpful when debugging. Oh, and here it is. We have some information about the uh, head unit and we have some information about the graphic. So we have how many frames were rendered, what's the rendering speed. We have uh, um, uh, our actual view. Right now we are in the main car computer, so when I switch, for example, to menu, for a split second we uh, could see that there are two options over here. When the uh, car view changes into the menu, we have two options, and when the menu is uh, on the display, the car menu is not over here. 
we can just see the one view and when I press uh, press voice we can see that there are two options uh, um, more over here there's um, uh, there's a pop-up background and there's uh, information about the uh, speech the voice recognition feature which is uh, not available in this car because it's swap protected I'm just not sure what does the short press on the car uh, do because when you press and hold it for about two seconds don't wait the 10 seconds for the overlay there's a ding and I don't know what's the difference before and after it so I, I played around with this uh, with those features for a bit and right now I can go to images select the SD1 source with my music and at the bottom I should have some screenshots of course I can take out the card and uh, uh, check those screenshots on my uh, computer as well but since there there is a uh, since there's a image viewer over here I can do it on the display Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and check my other tutorials and interesting videos about Meet 2, Volkswagen cars and other brands. Subscribe for future ones and see you soon.